So obviously we've rendered that out with the EV render engine. If you actually would like a higher quality end result, you can go ahead and repeat those last few steps using the cycles render engine to get an even cleaner result. So to do that, I'm just going to switch back to my layout workspace. And now I'm going to change my render engine from EV over to cycles. And now I need to go to my output settings because we have this set to FFmpeg and we don't want to leave it on that because if the render crashes part way through, uh, we'll lose all of our rendered files. So we need to change that back to PNG. And again, we're going to render out a sequence. If we leave this set as is, then it will overwrite our existing sequence. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to actually change that file name. Because so we don't want to overwrite this existing sequence. I will just call this cycles animation and hit accept. Now, before we render this out, we actually need to go back to our video editing workspace because if we click render animation, it's just going to render out this sequence here. So we actually need to select what is in our sequencer and remove it. So just hit X to remove it. We need to change our end frame back to frame 39 and hit enter. And now we can go back to our layout workspace. Save our scene and then hit render animation. Now go off and make a cup of tea and come back in a little while to see your finished animation. There we are, all of our frames are now rendered. And if we open up a file browser, we can see that we have our cycles animation sequence here, as well as our original animation sequence. So we can now close down our render window, jump into the video editing tab, and we can add that sequence. So add image sequence. Scroll down until we find our cycles animation, select the first frame and shift select the last frame in the sequence. So we've got our whole cycle sequence there and click add image strip. You can see if we scrub through, there's our animation. And once again, we can select this shift D to duplicate, slide it out and we'll add another couple of loops of the sequence there as well. If we go to our final frame in our sequence, you can see it's frame 156. So we need to change our end frame to 156. We then need to go up to our output settings and we will change our file format again to FFmpeg. Change the container to MPEG4. The other settings are fine. So now we can go up to our render animation. And we'll just give this a minute to run through. And it should save out our animation as a movie file. Okay, our sequence render has now completed. I can close down this window. And if we again open up our file browser, you should see that we now have our cycles animation saved out as a movie file. And there we have it.